So there are plenty of other images that you've submitted. And if you've got a good render of your 3D model from Blender, um, that would work great. I would probably want to render a straight on image instead of this three quarter view because it would just be about the shape of the icon anyway. But you could definitely make this one work as well. Even your house. Now your house is kind of wide. So then when you make it into a square, the house is actually a pretty small um, in the middle of the icon. So I, I think something like the monster. Let me go back to my vector art. Something like this would be really unique as well. So let's do this one. I'm going to um, save image as. And you could save that right into your App Inventor project folder and just save it as the original PNG that's there and then edit that in Photoshop. So I'm going to right click and open with Photoshop. You can see the cherries here um, and here's the monster that we just opened up. So once again, we need to crop this to a perfect one to one ratio, choosing that square right there and then increasing the size of the crop or adding on to it instead of taking off. Let me shrink that down a little bit and kind of positioning that. Uh, staying away from the corners. Don't keep anything uh, important in those corners. Keep adding a little bit more if you need to until you've got an icon that should work. So double clicking or clicking the check mark there will bring that in and then we file export as a JPEG. It will fill in with white pixels if you don't manually fill in a background. Bring that uh, quality down. Doesn't have to be super high quality for this. And the size. So right now it's 645. Let me make that 512. And we've got this down to 20 kilobytes. A lot for an icon, but it's got a lot of nice detail out of Bella's monster here that was used in the tutorials. So I would then export that and once again, going with a very much a smaller name. So instead of icon cherries, icon, uh, I'll just call it monster.jpg. And if you didn't watch the other one, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown here, here under project properties, icon, you can upload a file directly from your folder. If it starts with the word icon, very much easier to find. And now next time this is built and installed, the monster will be the icon. Again, I recommend you do that only once everything's working. When we click on your app that's got an actual icon, we really expect everything to work.